I'm Jenny Eagle, reporter for LIA, and I'm here with Juan Jawad, who is the technical director for Durham Lifting. Juan, tell us a little bit about your role and how long you've been in the job. I've been at Durham Lifting for about three years now, but within the lifting equipment industry, I've been working in the sector for about 15 years. At Durham Lifting, basically as technical director, my job requires me to provide overall technical advice to the company, provide design services. So within the technical department, we've got our design engineers working with me and we design all the in-house products. We've got our own product range, the mold like spreader beam, for example, the crane systems. So it's basically just developing the business's capacity and offerings and trying to develop different markets across the world, really. And how long have you been a member of LIA? So the only thing I've always been a full member of LIA. We've always talked about trying to get involved more with LIA. I think quite a couple of years ago, it was suggested that I could join the technical committee, um, but that opportunity didn't really come until earlier this year. So here I am. That's fantastic news. So you're now going to be a member of the technical committee of LIA. What will that entail? The technical committee is there to provide sort of a sense check and feedback from the industry, if you will, from the wider membership and all the guidance and technical advisors that LIA provides to its members. So, for example, if there is a, a new guidance on any particular product or standards and, and regulations, before it gets rolled out to the members, the technical committee provides its input, kind of digest what's going to be published or produced, pick out on any details that we might want to add. We might feel like this is something that the industry can provide some sort of added value in of standard practices, things like that, so that it's a lot more relatable and applicable to the industry in general. And do you think the members will have any particular burning issues right now? I would say, based on what we've discussed, there are quite a lot of issues, not issues as in problems, but there are a lot of subject matter that Leah is currently working on. There's always, you know, new products, new equipment that might not be new in practice, but new in terms of the availability of guidance and regulations surrounding the use of this equipment that I'm sure, given our very broad and vast industry, there will be somebody out there who who has been waiting for something to be a bit more clear uh, and provide clarity in, in their offering. A lot of people are probably pushing products into the market that they might struggle with trying to provide justification and on, on why certain things are done a certain way. But with Leah's guidance and um, the technical committee providing its input, that could give sort of a, a peer review, if you will, in products within the industry that members can rely on for their customers here. Yeah. So what's next for you? I know we're having this interview in your car today because you're <laughs> en route to a meeting. Tell us more about yeah. what's happening at Durham Lifting. So Durham Lifting has, has been very, very busy this year. We've seen a lot of addition to the team. We're growing the team quite rapidly at the moment. But as always, when you grow in a team, when there's that transition between, you know, new staff and old staff, a lot of us will have to wear many hats until that is sort of, you know, sourced, which is why I'm sort of running around a lot at the moment. I'm about to go into site to a customer meeting in about 20 minutes or so. And unfortunately, there isn't any, anywhere that I could sit down and have a proper chat with you. So I'm having to run into the car, close the doors, and hopefully it's quite enough for us to have a chat. Uh, we should also mention you have a slight injury there because you were also a busy oh. dad of twins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. Um, absolutely took a big tumble the other day singing Hop, <laughs> hop Little Bunny, Hop, Hop, Hop. <laughs> we all came crashing down and uh, yeah, got my, my finger quite trapped in there. So... <laughs> Well, hopefully there'll be no injuries on site today. <laughs> no, no, no. We we um, offer it on a, you know, zero um, loss time. So absolutely. And, and Leo as well, actually, for that matter. Very uh, important. Yes. Very important. Yes. Injuries happen at home, maybe sometimes, but at work, let's try and keep it safe. Because aside from being on the technical committee, obviously, Leo promotes safety in the workplace as a priority. Yes, Leah's working at the moment to achieve that zero incident target. And um, yeah, pretty exciting things happening. At the moment, we're reviewing a few functions within Leah, a few changes in the way that Leah interacts with the membership. Very exciting. It's really coming up to the way that the world currently works. Can't give away too much, but I'm very, very much looking forward to it. And hopefully all the niggling issues, all the teething issues are sorted very soon so we can roll it out to the membership and people will 
find it a lot more, a lot quicker anyway, and efficient to get technical advices from Leah. Well, congratulations on the new role. Thank you very much.